Hey everybody, Nate's going to teach us how to play Azalea today with the brand new Armory deck, and we're going to play some Talishar. Yeah, we're going to fight some Talishar peoples. So, Ted, what questions do you have? What do Ranger do? <laughs> we go, we shoot the arrows. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we can just kind of dive into the deck real quick. We can talk about the equipment. Um, yeah, I, I think this equipment set, um, it's interesting, but I think it's some of the weakest they've put out in terms of like armory deck equipment. Mm -hmm. um, target Tortalizer is... It just tells your opponent to block, unless it's dominated. Um, Hidden Agenda is interesting, um typically i think you're gonna probably want to try to pair this with spire sniping to flip it up get a resource and gain spire sniping's effect um because it's actually hard to trigger spire sniping if it's already in your arsenal um but i do like flight path and sharpshooters i think they're they go hand in hand very well sharpshooter um puts a card into your arsenal and gives it an aim counter typically you're going to want to pair that with stone rain um and then Flight Path just gives you an extra piece of go again, which is nice. Um, I mean, it's going to be pretty streamlined. Um, we might get into a little trouble because I do like the YOLO uh, flip. <laughs> but um, you just play Big Arrow and ask them if they want to block it or not. You're going to see... We'll, we'll see who we run into, but there's basically two modes of playing Azalea. There is the YOLO flip option, which I prefer, which is basically every turn you want to flip into your arsenal to try to get a pump or maybe like a ravenous rabble. And then you just want to try to shoot a massive arrow for like 15 plus into decks that don't block very well. Now, decks that block pretty well have a lot of three blocks. You're going to want to try to focus more on the dominate game plan. So um, we will flip on over the talent share, see if we can't find ourselves an opponent and see... Um, what we can do here. So we'll just do, we'll do request undo CC. Um, and let's hope we don't run into any Kano's. <laughs> right. So. No Kano, please. Um, this one I have. So this played. is unedited. This is... Yes. Completely unedited for the most part. I'm assuming you're going to cut out like boring silences. Um, but, <laughs> um, we're, we're not going to like. Try the cherry pick games, I'm talking about the deck. yeah, or anything like that. We're just gonna play the games, see how they go. Um, I have yeah, played just this like we have in the previous videos, right? Yep, yep, just like we have them previously. Uh, we're gonna play three games total, just like a just like a knightly armory. See how we end up. Um, spoiler: I have taken this to an armory. I think the deck is powerful. I think it has a couple interesting flaws. Um, but we can go over that a little later and maybe like in, a an update video too. So, um, all right. So not finding anyone to fight. Uh, here's a prism. So we'll go just, we're just going to go fight the prism. This is not a good matchup by the way, but <laughs> we ain't, we ain't ending in this. We ain't trying to look for the glory, but, um, basically what we're going to try to do is kill the prism before they get to do things and hope they do not find Arclight Sentinel. Because if they find Arclight Sentinel, we probably lose the game. So, yeah. great news. We have no additional cards or card space, so <laughs> we just ship it. We don't have to think about sideboarding. <laughs> yeah, no sideboarding. Yep. Just ship it, baby. What am I supposed to run? Don't know. All of it. <laughs> All of it, yes. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Now we're playing the game. All right. Don't attack me, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is my request. All right. Arsenal pass, baby. That is an attack. Yep, I not block not. the attack. Um, all right. So I'm going to keep the arrow in my hand. The one thing with Azalea is like, you never want to not have an arrow. I do have to give up three premium pumps, which is sad. 
Mm-hmm. But all right, fine. He gets to hit me for three and get a soul, which is unlucky. Hopefully he yeah. gets some garbage or something. Decent I think this is kind of a greedy line for him, especially because he has the two war tunes. Like he should be throwing the two war tunes and then knowing he can set that red herald. And then he makes a terrible life decision against the freaking ang- the protection angel when he should go get uh erudition and just gain his ponder token. So but that's okay. We'll take mm-hmm. it. It's also rocking Stonewall Gauntlet. Stonewall Gauntlet. Oh, is this hand like this hand is basically identical? Um okay, so oh, yeah. Hmm. So we're going to load in the sleep dart. We don't necessarily care about the damage here, but we don't want him to be able to go find angels out of his deck. So we'll take a peek at the top of our deck and see if there's anything that we like. Ooh, stone rain. Um, That's actually really interesting. I think we do flip into it and we give it the aim counter because it does. It removes a card out of his hand and really reduces what he can threaten me with and i get to dominate twice um so this is the new card i think this card is actually quite good when it has a name counter it gets, gains dominate um and if it hits a hero they have to banish a card from the hand face down at the beginning of their turn they can have it back so this also makes it really uh it disincentivizes him to go and get Herald of Erudition. Or not the mm-hmm. yeah, the Erudition figment. Oh no. Not like this. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We just had to refresh the page. Alright. Stone yeah. Rain for ten. Stone Rain for ten. Not bad. We love to see it. Arsenal, the infecting shot. Hello. There we go. Sometimes with Talisha, you have to send the hello message. Not to be passive aggressive, which we are very good at here in Michigan. Um, <laughs> but just to <laughs> update the client to get it to a, a spot a where thing. they can interact with it. Oh, love to see this. So we only have one Herald coming back at us, which is great. Yeah. Stone Rain and on hit. Yeah. 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 That's pretty good. So two shields going to soak up a little bit of it, but. Yep. That's okay. That's fine. Get him out of the way now. Yep. The thing we do have to be careful of is basically at any time he has like a 0 for 4 D react on the board. Oh, this hand is not great, Bob. Um, <laughs> what does he got for us? All right. So it's great. He gives us the opportunity to block. Hmm. So I do think we just take this kind opportunity. I'm going to block with the arms because we, I think it'll be more obvious when the legs will be ready to use than when the arms, because mm-hmm. if we do end up just kind of like YOLO flipping one turn. Um, yeah. So interesting point here too is I do have the ability to use hidden agenda here to gain an entire card. Because I basically can then shoot the infecting shot for eight arsenal, the spire sniping, which I am interested in taking. Because this game isn't going to go long. The I've gone through one line of ups at the bottom of the deck. I've already blocked with one. The hard part is I basically, so there's three complete dead whiffs which are point the tips for my yolo swag game plan so i think because we're already unfavored we're just gonna do it 
Now, Nate, um, if you were to upgrade this deck, would yep. you be adding battering bolts for uh, some poppers against Prism? Yes, yeah, I would immediately add battering bolts. Also, because they're good in the a lot of the meta right now, like Zen, Enigma, New mm -hmm. Prism. Like battering bolts are just they just hit so much of the meta right now. It would be like the probably one of the first cards I would add in is just a sideboard card. Yeah. Um, I think hidden. But Niven, as it stands right now, we have no poppers in the stack. I'm pretty sure. Right? That, that is factually accurate. Um, the nice part about this infecting shot hitting though is it means he can't flip an angel next turn without keeping an entire another card. Oh right, because he'll have to pay. Yep. So he's at 18, but that literally means nothing when you play against a... Yeah, when you're playing Prism, it's... Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. This is okay, though, because his turn is, like, going to be essentially nothing. Sure, he's going to get a card in Soul, but, like, he's going to have one card in Arsenal. Okay, he's flipping the protection here, too, which is interesting, because I'm confused on how he's protecting the protection from the Blood Rot. Um, it's okay, you know. We we didn't say that we were we coming live, we learn. to play the best and the best here. So, I guess he can attack with the protection, create shields, um, which I'm fine with. Yeah. Um, because now I've got a I've got a couple looks here because I I do need to find uh something on the top of my deck here. Because <laughs> this hand is not great otherwise. Um, so we're gonna lead with the read the glide path. Oh, this is this is about to get out of hand quickly. One of us is dying. Yeah. And it will be short. Yeah. Remember how that 18 life doesn't matter? It's like yeah. I'm so far ahead. It's yeah. like mm. all right. So we're gonna use read here first because then it guarantees Rabble hits a red, hopefully. Uh, I have to send it to the bottom because I don't want it. I want an arrow that is not um, not named Spire Sniping to shoot. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. It's oh, not Spire no. Sniping, so I guess that is an upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. Oh, not like oh, this. No. We did upgrade though, so we can't be too upset. But this is just kind of like Azalea's kind of a little rune bladey, Ted. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, it looks fun. Like we've talked about this before. Azalea is like one of those heroes that they nailed the flavor on. Yeah. Like perfectly where it feels like you're loading a bow and shooting that bow over and over again um it's really cool that they've since outsiders they've updated they've updated the ranger uh design space a little bit with like pretty gnarly on hits too yeah, so it, yeah. you know it's like these like nasty tall on hit um arrows which is cool yeah it's gonna be real hard for him to not take the blue like not take blue root here. Um, you said this last time, Nate, and it worked out perfectly fine. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying it's like it's gonna be hard for him to block this. He has to give up the angel. He has to give up his boots, and he has to give me another three block. Oh right, yeah, with eight dominate, yeah. yeah. And he just decides to give me none of it. So he's going to take four plus four blood rotties. Back when I started playing this game, as soon as Genesis hit the board, you killed it. The Yes, if. If you had more than one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, with Azalea, it's a little bit harder, right? It is a lot like harder one, with Azalea because you don't get to. Um do the fun things as often um, <laughs> yeah yeah so this is oh man this is kind of an interesting hand i might this might be the hand we yolo the sharpshooter because i have the stone rain oh 
And, and what does sharpshooters do again? Sharpshooter puts a card into your arsenal with an aim counter on it. So it would load this with dominate. Um, okay. So my plan is going to be death dealer, the bolt and shot in, draw, hopefully a pump. Um, and then if I do draw a pump, um, I will play, I will flip for <laughs> hopefully another pump. If not, oh boy. all right, we'll just let it play out. We'll just let it play out. We'll see what we'll see what ends up happening uh, here. Because I don't know, of... it's kind of greedy. I probably just shoot the Bolton shot, and then I go. I'm gonna lead Reed. If it's a pump on top, I keep it. Shoot Bolton shot for seven, and then it use the other pump in Stone Rain to go seven dominate on him. Because the thing is, I can't, like, the longer this game goes against Prism, yeah. the worse off I am. So It's already looking quite sketch with the Pierce Reality and a Genesis. 100%. It is looking mighty sketch. We are almost dead at so, 24, believe it or not. Like, this guy is not playing super well either. Like, he's not ordering his triggers <laughs> in the right order. Um uh, so that goes to immediately to the bottom because we don't want that. <laughs> we're going to load this bolt and hopefully draw a pump. If we don't draw a pump, we're YOLO flipping, which is scary because I still have three misses in the deck. All right, so we drew a pump. The pump is only six. Um. Oh, man. This is really interesting. Okay, so I can either send a very large stone rain, but that's only if there's a pump on the top of my deck. I just feel like if I don't kill him now, I'm going to die. Um, yeah, I think there is a bug. I'm playing Prism. Um, the, the thing is, if I get, if I do flip into another pump and it isn't point the tips, which point the tips ends my turn immediately. I go plus eight. I go 12 dominate. He has, I've already seen him pitch one soul shield. Um, 12 dominates near impossible for him to cover. So I can hit him, draw a card and remove a card from his hand. Um, <laughs> well, YOLO. This could be good television. <laughs> it's gonna be good to see it live on TV, folks. It's gonna be point the tip. Don't be point the tip. <laughs> oh, no, oh, it's just as bad. No, it's uh, the one off knock. Oh, no, wait, there's three knocks. There's in three deck, knocks right? in the deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, we'll go get our red in the ledger. Um, I actually can't put a card into my arsenal. No. Um, that's fine. <laughs> it's okay. I just burned an entire card. It's fine. It's just a just an IP penalty at the yeah. workaround. Dude, if he has a if he has an arc light sentinel, this is the most patient man in the world, and I'm about to get omega juice. <laughs> oh my god, that would be wild. Don't do it. He was just like, actually. Yeah. All right. So this is nine dominate, which is not a whole lot. It's not <laughs> great. It, it does take his his gloves. He has to flip erudition and give me a card. Unless there's a soul shield in that arsenal. <laughs> Unless there's a soul shield in this arsenal. <laughs> and then, then I'm chronically... Then we, uh, we go next. Not necessarily. I I do just kind of need like one turn to like put him in a position that's like not playable. For him yeah. at least. Like he's getting kind of like to the danger spot. But the issue is that with all my non-attack actions, like I can just get absolutely juiced by arc light yeah okay 
Yeah, man, he's gonna flip your addition. Or maybe hat. He's letting it hit? Qua? And banishing a card from his hand? What? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Sir? He must really have the juice. Yeah, there must be something cooking. Let's let's find out. Hmm. 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 What's up, dog? What do you got? Is this just? What could he possibly doing? I don't know, and that's what scares me the most. <laughs> it costs two to swing an angel, right? Yes, it does. So he's gonna he's gonna swing erudition and hope to find something on top, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I don't get the block. I I understand. I understand. I understand the assignment. Okay. This does not kill me. I I say no blocks. Mm -hmm. That was out of his arsenal. Yep. What? see yeah understand mm -hmm. what's next yeah so what are we what are we doing on <laughs> uh that's a good question theodore um <laughs> what are we doing on our turn <laughs> uh, <laughs> we say. we're gonna play this read the glide path and then we're gonna figure out our lives from here <laughs> so, one step at a time yep read the glide path says what's on top Ooh, pump on top okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna flip into the pump because i'm just gonna get rid of the red i'm too low where like it doesn't actually matter like yeah uh i'm gonna look at the top of my deck and then i'm gonna figure out if i want this bolton shot or this sleep dart um it's really unfortunate i don't really want that card anywhere near me <laughs> sleep dart is one more damage um but i want i rather have the arsenal i guess so we're going to load in the Bolton shot. It's going to be real big. I'm going to say, give me cardboard. Or play Arclight Sentinel. Didn't play Arclight Sentinel, so we love to see that. He's currently got what, five ward on the board. He's only got five ward on the board, dude. Only five. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he still has to give me at least a card. Because this is 13 with a blood rot. So a card has to come from him one way or another. Mm -hmm. But it's also very hard for him to save Soraya, which I am happy about because that card sucks. Um, yeah. And he definitely can't save Soraya and swing Soraya, which I am also happy about. But. I'm so confused on what's happening. Okay. So he's letting it hit. Unfortunately, I have this stupid fire sniping, so I have literally no punish for him. But I am going to at least give him an aneurysm and reload it. <laughs> um, so he has four cards. I'm at 10. Not exactly loving where we're at here. No. 
Um, Pierce and passing mirage makes not that passing mirage does all that much in this because we can't crack, yeah. <laughs> we can't crack phantasm anyways, but yeah, he doesn't know that, correct? Okay, this oh, that's a large number, too. Um, that's a card. That is a card. Herald uh, Mayor you are you are very apt in <laughs> acknowledging that this is a card. <laughs> that's that's a card. Oh, unlucky! Madness. I don't think we're gonna get there, boys. I think we're gonna be a little short here. Herald of Air Edition by itself uh, taught me to never block early with my grasp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like always, keep that two block hanging. Uh, in this situation, did not matter. Uh, seven, yeah, this situation is a little different. <laughs> seven, never getting blocked. So we just weren't quick. How did it get the plus? It got the plus one from passing reality, but where did it get the second plus one? It got plus two from Pierce, and then passing oh. the, no phantasm. Oh. Um, oh, that's right. Pierce gives plus two. That's. Yep. Wow. In my head, I was thinking that that was only plus one. That'd be, that'd be pretty decent, but plus two is real good. I have bad news. Um, I think we were a little slow. I think the flip into the knock really punished us because we we missed four damage that turn. And that's literally the, the difference here. So, you know what? Sometimes you shouldn't be YOLO swagging. That's a lesson to all the kids out there. Don't smoke meth. Yeah. Don't YOLO swag. It's never worth it. Don't I am confused math, though because huh? this Sekum is going to die to this blood rot, which is kind of interesting. End turn. What? 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 Is he going <laughs> to pay to keep the Sekum around? Does he have two reds? What's happening here? <laughs> What's happening? Does he have brain aneurysm? Oh, no, he pitched the no, keep no. around. Wait, show me the cards. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Probably because I was refreshing because I'm impatient. Come on, <laughs> zero cost arrow. Uh, that's not a zero cost arrow. Hey, yeah, that's going to be a zero cost arrow. Sleep dart. That plays. Mm -hmm. uh, no aim counter. No, oh, thank you. All right. So we're not dead yet, boys. You still in this? <laughs> we're not dead yet. Uh, yeah. This is. Believe. I believe. Dude, this is the this is why I hate playing against illusionists. They're always thinking because they have like, even though it's my turn, they have a hundred actions that they can take. And that yes, I know you're thinking. Please bear with me. He probably has like an arc light sentinel, a tome, and probably a soul <laughs> shield and arsenal. And he's just trying to figure out the most degenerate way to block this. <laughs> Wizards and illusionist players, they're all the same. They just love to see misery in their opponents' faces. You top eight nationals this year, right? What here what the uh, hero are you playing? We don't talk about that, all right. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, see, he didn't Wait have a dark light sentinel, he just put it into his soul. Oh my god, he what? did. He was just like, hmm, do I arc light? Hmm. Nine. <laughs> Nine big number. <laughs> hmm. I think this one might be over, Teddy. Yeah, I'm thinking so, brother. All right. So we also learned boot block unnecessary. Oh, no. He got me. GG's, my friend. 12. Where's the GG's button? Good game. 
I will die now. All right, oh one. one You know what? <laughs> Definitely not play. That's probably the same one. I'm not playing them again. We'll just go start our own lobby. And wait. All right. So I think that game was very winnable. I just muffed it a little bit. Yeah, the flip didn't help. Um, and then also, but I think you were right in the assessment, right? Especially we know that we're playing the stock army deck. So it's like we kind of have to go for the, the juice a little bit. We, yeah, we do have to cheat. So like a better player. We have to cheat a little bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, we have to go for the high percent or the low percentage plays higher outcome just because we're a little bit behind the curve in ter- terms of power. Mm. But that's fine. Um, I think a smarter player, one with, oh, dude. All right. <laughs> dude, ship it. We ain't scared. Are we really? Are we doing this? Yeah, we are, buddy. Dude, we're going to wreck this no guy. AD. Oh, dude. We're full shipping this. Give me one on top. No, no. Oh. Um, yes, I want on top, though. <laughs> dude are we full shipping yeah we are <laughs> it's kano dude we gotta full ship it yeah especially with no ab so you can't um, block 14 so i'm drawing a card this is i'm i'm very actually really happy about this he loses <laughs> his hero ability he takes a million damage and i draw a card he can't kill me i'm at 40 yeah I lost that. If he kills me, it's your own fault. You made this. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> you did this to yourselves. If yeah, I guess for the for the viewers, uh, if you didn't know, there is no AV. In, there is uh, there is arcane barrier on hidden agenda. Oh, look at that! That's new. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, so we have dude, arcane dude. barrier one. But dude, he's gonna kill me. Is, he's gonna kill the me secret, already. The secret is that AB doesn't really. Uh, is is not a real thing against Kano. Yeah. Like I think you have to have like A B four or five before it's an actual thing. You just have to have the resources too that oh my god, he might actually just straight up murder me. Oh uh, dude, yeah, he might. <laughs> there is something. <laughs> oh what my gosh, happening? that was that was too close. Dude, yeah, we all we almost got 40 That's okay. But did we? Sure didn't. We're sure just going to take didn't. 11. He's going to take 14, just as the Lord James White intended. <laughs> this, this is what peak flesh and blood looks like. Dude, he had the Kindle, the Gacy zero. Ages. He takes 16, I take 11. <laughs> the best part is he, hey, like, his... Return too is gonna be quite bad because he does no hero ability. Oh yeah, that's right. He literally, dude. What? Oh, no. Hi. All pumps. Why you do this? I. Right. You know what time it is. Ravenous rabble. Then look, and then. I guess we. Why can't we rabble first? first? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Is that good? A yellow spire sniping? It is an arrow. Is it good? Yeah, that's true. No, it's freaking <laughs> terrible. But and it's, it's an arrow, so I do have options with my life. Um, I kind of wish I saved the totalizer for this turn, but unlucky. Didn't know that. Um, I'm going to save the frailty for next turn because I know I have an arrow and then I'll have. Oh, dude, this guy's like actually playing like some degenerate level. She is near. And it wasn't going to threaten lethal, anyways. So I'd rather keep it for next turn to have a five card hand to. Really kind of threaten lethal. Hopefully draw a Bolton shot. Yeah. Um, 
Wait, how is he at 11? Oh, he took the Ravenous Rebel. That's right. Wait, mm-hmm. did he not pay last turn for the Blood Rot? No, he hadn't. You know, he. I don't think he did. What? Okay. This is not what the good Lord James White intended. I don't this believe is... it. Uh oh, danger. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Uh oh. I was just going to say, we're getting to the point of a Kano game where it's like, all right, we get to hang out and watch him do math. Yep. Dude, what did I tell you earlier, guys? Wizard players, illusionist players, they're all the same. They're all the same. I'm realizing that also commentating is not in the cards for me because I'm just like sitting here slack jawed, <laughs> like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> what's who? Those are cards reverberate. What's that do? Hmm. It also gives me appreciation for uh, the guys that are doing the commentating. Yeah. I don't it's, uh, it's I don't insane. think the one arcane barrier I would have had there actually matters, so I'm just gonna Yeah. Just let it go. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, we're still going. We're still going. Gaze. Mm. We're still going. All right, Ted, will you wake me up when uh <clears throat> <laughs> We might just be dead. You never know. Probably. Just get cooked from orbit. Yeah, much. he did he did leave both of those cards on the top of his deck. So and there's an Aether Flare. Of course there is. <laughs> of course there's. He only had three cards in his hand. I didn't expect him to have another tome of Aether Wind. I thought I figured it was just a stupid spell. Yeah. Eh, whatever. Well, here's the good news. This is his last red Aether Flare. Bad yeah. news. We're still playing against Kano. <laughs> <laughs> it's unlucky really and a kindle dog you gotta do um, something you, you're just at kindling for fun that's two kindles for fun if he's doing it oh he's gonna respond i think i might be in danger because he's probably gonna rag wait he's Whatever he he has something on top that now that's better than lessons. Hopefully he whiffed. So he put blazing. Cool. <laughs> Love that for me. <laughs> he still has one. He has uh, four, five to eight, five to seven resources. And he still gets the draw card. All right, well, this was fun. Eighth or, oh, great news. I don't, you can't pay for all that, hopefully. Oh, great. You have a card again. <laughs> Draw a, a, a Gorganian Tome? I think Gorganian Tome is probably my only out here. <laughs> I don't think they play that card, Nate. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Unlucky. Unlucky. All right. Um, I see, it's a good thing we kept this card in our hand. Yes, yeah, so we can AB1. So we can AB1. Good thing I AB1 that reverberate, dude. Can you imagine if I didn't? <laughs> yeah, it'd be tough. It really doesn't matter that much here, but this is going to be a big, big boy spindle. Yeah, cool. Love that for you. 16. 
and he gets to look at the top eight cards of his deck. Top, 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 <laughs> top. <laughs> That's not like, what you want to see when they're opting. You want them to like put it all. The... I won. We won. <laughs> he had a stroke. We, we didn't did like the top eight cards. Dude, the, the top eight cards of his deck must have really sucked. Nice. And, folks, that's how Kano's, Kano games go. Yeah. You feel like you're losing until you just win. I don't know how in the top eight cards of his deck he couldn't find 16 damage. Actually, no, it would have been... He was about to do... What? There's no the shot. Spindle. He had done yeah. one plus four plus eight. So he'd already done 13 damage to me. He literally just has to cast this blazing. Yeah. Maybe and I'm that's dead. Why... He, I, I bet this guy, okay, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. What some players do is when they already know they've won on Talishar, they will either concede the game or they'll throw the game to make really? the stats for their hero look better. So, Oh, my God. I'm not going to point well, fingers, but you're out there and you know who you are. <laughs> and to some extent, uh, yeah, I, like, I, I think that him. was a win. That was a W for him for sure. 100%. There's no way I wasn't dead. Yeah, with the blazing there, too. It's like, come yeah. on. But you know what? We're taking it as a win. Kano player yeah. thought so hard, his brain exploded, and we won. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Ah, yes. The play experience against Gano. Yep. Super fun. Interesting gameplay. He casts zero wildfires. And all of it was just yellowed off the top, basically. Yeah. Really. Um, Can't weird. wait to see what Kano gets in Rosetta. Dude, Kano, Kano gonna speed run LO. He's he's gathered some points, but nothing. Uh, I don't think it's significant yet, right? No. Uh, actually, I think he might be like somewhere in the middle. Oh, yeah. Dude, <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. This armory kind of sucks. <laughs> we we, we should have edited this. <laughs> Dude, yeah, this is like the sweatiest armory ever. Dude, it is. They go up against Prism, Kano, and New. It's like, ooh. Dude. This ain't it. You Here's stop. Like you look around the room if you show up to an armory like this and then you put your Azalea de armory deck away and you go buy the KO one and hope. <laughs> Dude, oh, wait, you need the KO one. You definitely need the KO one in this uh, this this building, in this room. Dude. Need a little extra spice. Yeah, Why? what are we doing here, bud? Whew. Um, that certainly okay. it. Your hero power is actually useless, so we can block with the sleep dart. And then we'll probably block with the sedation shot or the drill shot. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to keep the line it up. If I draw a blue, line it up is kind of sick. It's also... A oh, yeah. This new doesn't really get to play out of Banish. Yeah, new's hero ability is actually blank. That's interesting, yeah, because you have to have a bow to shoot arrows. Yep, 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 yep. And Siren's Call is also basically blank. All right, so one thing to take note of, Siren's Call, uh, Sink Below Pitch, that means there's a probably a Sink Below in hand. Um, and Siren's Call probably shouldn't be in the deck, but they're YOLO swagging, I guess. I blocked the Beckoning Mistblade because I, I have three arrows. I need to clean, clean up the hand a little bit. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I guess he can heal one, because um, I'm just not going to let him banish a card off the top of my deck. 
Um, I'm blocking drill shot because I think sedation shot is going to be a little bit better. So this is this is one of the matchups. The previous two, those were just like full send your hand matchups. They the heroes don't block all that well, mm -hmm. um, and they they have some no blocks. This is going to be a matchup where I'm going to try to push a lot of dominate just because the hero blocks very well. They have defense reactions. This is going to be probably a sink below. Because I think if you're given the choice between the two, I think you're always picking sink below the goal in your arsenal, not fate for scene. Um, again, I'm going, I'm going to put the spire sniping in because I want dominate. Um, so top, top, this is quite a terrible. <laughs> oh, the drill shot is not looking super great here. Um, I'm not in love with this hand either. There's an argument to knock into a two cost arrow, like a red infecting shot. And I think I'm going to just to put it over the sink below and make them use equipment because the drill shot just doesn't do anything. It's sink below and a card from hand. Mm -hmm. um, but because I have a blue and pitch here going and getting hmm, infecting shot or sedation shot that is the question. Sedation shot is nice because it's hard for news to fully utilize their hands. Uh, actually, it's barbed mm. undertow, isn't it? Okay. Because um, I can, it's going to be eight. So he has to give me a piece of equipment at least. And if he, do, if for some unknown reason, he did not put a sink below in his, um, <laughs> oh shit, I can't count. It's fine. We're shipping it anyways. <laughs> um i see you can't talk and do this stuff anyone who actually streams is like <laughs> uber talented uh um, yeah for sure i uh, for some reason he didn't put a sink below in arsenal he's kind of screwed here because i just call blue and it basically turns off his deck unless he has two defense if he has one in arsenal and in hand then i'm screwed here what can't pitch blue cards what i'm so confused <laughs> i'm actually astonished i'm gonna block with this this turn i think i'm just gonna full send my hand i'm gonna use this full send this. <laughs> it's like this is the this is the matchup you don't full send hand five five seconds later i'm gonna full send hand <laughs> no it's not a, so it gains dominate so that's why i would full send it and it would be yes. a big big number dominate. And we know this guy doesn't have a defense reaction. That's true. Oh, I did say I was going to block with this, didn't I? You know, kids, don't listen to me. I'm drunk. <laughs> I am so confused on what is happening here. Huh. I guess I'll just pitch to... Oh, no, I'm just full sending. I already I already screwed up, so I'm just going to full send. <laughs> Dude, not my knock. And knock, knock, knock. Also, like, why are you banishing knock? You banish one of the arrows in case I'm memorial ground. Silly goose. Okay, so. Mark you okay. fab five. I love you, brother, but let's think about what we just did. We just pitched a sigil of solace to play a hiss. And you have one <laughs> card that is still in your hand. What are we doing with our lives here? Oh, it's a blue card. <laughs> I have no clue what we're doing with our lives at all. All right. Yeah. We'll spend a clock. Frailty. Blued root. Frailty. Going all the way. Oh my god. Armsies. So me armsing here also makes it less likely that I can YOLO swag flip. 
totalizer. <laughs> 13, yeah. 13 Doom and 8. Go. Dude. Ted. I think we I think we got a shot here. Sensor. Let's yeah, I think uh this definitely puts us this definitely puts us a little bit in the driver's seat, I think. I'm feeling feeling a little bit more comfy right now. Not gonna lie. He's got he's got no daggers with the frailty. Whatever's in his arsenal is also minus one. Yep. It's gonna take maybe two. Or has to pay for that. Yep. And then just banish the card from Stone Rain. And if the card is ooh, wait. Are we is it juice o'clock? <laughs> oh baby i think it might be juice o'clock codex of frailty why would you do this to me my friend hmm. pew, 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 pew. Codex of Frailty. <laughs> Bonds of Attraction for negative one. <laughs> Dude. I don't think that's actually allowed in the rules, but it's funny that it shows up negative what one. Is this? Okay. You know what? I'm just going to let Mark you do Mark you. He's my boy. Yeah, dude. He's just doing his thing, bro. He's just Max chilling, right? So. He discarded a card to instead of playing sensor for at least three he has attacked me for a grand total of one two wait um, i don't think that's is that a bug in talishar because i don't think you can i think i think bond should be at zero right and his should pump it to three dude i don't know yeah you can't go negative dude listen i'm not a doctor i don't know any of this stuff <laughs> all i know is i'm not an expert but i did sleep at a holiday inn last night <laughs> Yeah, um, got all them boomer references. Young, the young pups don't even know what we're talking about, but yeah. you know, yeah, them young pups. Um, yeah, I don't really, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have words for what's happening right now, dude. We're playing the stand, we're playing the non changed Azalea deck. We, we just don't, don't question things, just fire them arrows i'm just all right we, we fire in them arrows so we're gonna we're gonna do the thing again and ask him if he remembers what this card does and if he has a d react <laughs> arsenal and the answer is hey yeah I always forget this line it up card costs one. Hmm. Hey, yeah. Uh, What's line it up do again? Uh, it can flip over a card that's face down in your arsenal, and it gives it uh, aim counter if it's an arrow. Okay. So we got the, the old ten dominate. And... Block him with the weakest link. Yep. Which is great. Now, let's let's see here, children. Um, if he's able to attack me for more than six, my guess is going to be no. And he just blocked with a weakest link. So we'll find out together. What's our turn look like? Well, we'll we'll see what we'll see what old Marky U's got got in store for us. Oh, oh I think he's realizing good. that card. That card says you don't get to do the blue things. Yep, there we go. Attacking me for one. 
<laughs> Dude, oh, no. I'm never going to financially recover from this. Wait, does Barb Undertow say you can't pitch blue cards either? It says you can't pitch blue cards. It's the only, it's the only thing it affects oh. is the pitch. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so you just windmill slam blue, so then it turns off the... Yeah. Yeah. I gotta probably start playing some more CC, like... Uh... The old barbed undertow, huh? The old Barbie. Oh, he's he's like, I don't want to deal with that one again. That one hurt. <laughs> Let's get rid of that one. Oh, look at that, buddy. We're back up to 19. Yep. All right. So hit him with a Nate. We're gonna we're gonna opt first. What are we looking for? Not that. Oh, that's um, Yeah, we're not looking for that. We're going to reload the Bolton and then see what he does. Or we're going to load Bolton, shoot it for six, and hope for two cards. Uh, if he disrespects it, we get to fire the Sleep Dart. That'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That reload, man. Yes, so yeah. tough. I mean, let's be real. Like we've we've effectively we're O two. So this is kind of what you would expect to see at the O two table at locals, right? First time mm -hmm. someone sleeped yeah. up a deck. They're like, I'm gonna try this new hero out, and they're like, mm. they're just trying to. Trying to get the uh, trying to get the training get wheels legs under them, right? Like, we get listen. Yeah, that's hard, especially when you try to learn a new deck. Uh yeah, <laughs> it definitely does. Yeah, especially a deck as nuanced as new as well. Yes. Yeah. I think there's I think there's no decks in Fab where you can just like sleeve up and expect just to like stomp. Like even Zen takes a little bit of like understanding and kind of feel. Yeah. You have to be like pretty experienced to even have a, have a shot if you're just sleeping it up for the first time. All right. Yeah. The way I learn is like, I very much noticed, like I need to kind of like see the cards in my hand and like make the mistakes or like find them mid game. Yeah. Even though I'm losing and then I can kind of learn that way. So, but fab is very much a game of reps. Y'all, y'all might be shocked to hear this and like, listen, no, I, I have no idea how long we've been recording for. Um, oof. It's, uh, it's becoming a, but, it's becoming a little bit long. Yep. We're yeah. at 58 minutes. Um, I've, I've watched a uh, one Michael Hamilton try to play Kano. <laughs> and let's be abundantly clear it was not pretty all right it was it was not something he or anyone should be proud of in norway you will ever see a michael hamilton play kano love you buddy i know you'll never watch this so it's, i feel okay saying this but i would say this to yeah your face. for sure and i'm pretty sure i said this to your face while you were playing kano <laughs> <laughs> like it's just it's just not for some people i'm super confused on what's happening right now but bonds for yep. five he went all in on this this is this was his uh custard's final stand did he even block with those equipment, or did he just break them? With fun? Boots. I don't think he blocked at them. Uh, is it, he's he made boots, arms, fang, slither, and sirens call. He put it all on there, baby. That was was that two damage dealt to us? <laughs> yep. He dealt. He broke all of his equipment, which he did not block with, and <laughs> dealt two damage. Yes, that is. That is uh, that great. Leave, a, leave no witness. Okay. 
Um, uh, uh, point counterpoint: We will leave a little. We will leave one witness. It will be the drill shot in my arms. <laughs> I refuse. Hey, yeah. It's drill shot o'clock, baby. You can put that negative one counter on his tunic. Uh, I probably actually put it on the mask. I want to. Yeah. So <clears throat> we can talk about it a little bit. When at least this is my general philosophy is that like, especially when they are braid Blake equipment, um, it's minus one kind of across the board. But you want to put yeah. it on the ones that would you want to incentivize them to block with. You want to let yeah, your opponent okay. potentially make a mistake, but if you just let them have tunic for an entire game, they because there's no reason to block with it, they might never block with it, and it might actually end up winning them the game. Oh, that's a valid point. I never thought of it like that. Um, so that's yeah. The absolute value is still the same, right? What was that? I said the absolute value is still the same. There's three right. block available, and you're taking it down to two blocks. So. Um, persuasive prognosis pitch tells me another bonds or something, um, which is another... actually really bad for this hand, but there's not a whole lot we can do about it. I can't commit my equipment here. Um, I wish this was a two arrow hand. The thing right yeah. now is that like I just need to be able to throw any amount of damage at him every turn, and eventually he will then be forced to like actually do something, um, and like block with cards, and I'll be able to close out the game with dominate. Um, but I I can't have turns where he completely time walks me. So this is a little bit of a spooky play. Um, if he does have another bonds, it's actually kind of bad for me. Um, but mm. I'm I'm guessing it's persuasive because it's hard for him to pull off uh, bonds because all of his equipment is broken and he decided to keep nothing behind. He used five attack reactions on bonds instead of just the three that are required. <laughs> um, yeah. We weren't blocking with flight path this turn anyways. Levels is completely acceptable here. It's That's unfortunate. Just he gets the draw a card. There was a little bit of a concern about Misblade being able to give levels draw. Um, but at this point, it's just damage. I'm so far ahead. I'm not overly concerned. The thing I am concerned about is the card that he draws. Um, not necessarily levels itself, because I don't care about the damage. Yeah. Um. And there's the persuasive prognosis that we thought existed. The nice thing is it is down to one here. Um, this is really quite bad if he is able to pump it. But I don't think I can give him two cards here. I think that's just like two negative. Because the persuasive prognosis was in hand, so he would have had... Oh my god. So we had to draw exactly an attack reaction, which he does. Him. So I have to hope he whiffs here. Hit a blue. That's crazy. No, that's unfortunate. All right. There's the blue. Come on. Oh, wait, did he hit the blue off the persuasive? Oh my gosh. Get wrecked, nerd. <laughs> All right, so we'll load with the frailty because Scout gives us the potential to dominate. And again, our deck is not thin, but it's not its not like we ain't writing home about it. Um, yourself. Inertia. Cool, 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 cool. All right. So we'll just send this. Uh, it lets us Arsenal, which does play around Codex. Um it unfortunately mm -hmm. does not play around like leave no witness command and conquer all of the things that are kind of scary. Um, but I don't want to just like yeet my whole hand into him. I am going to have to finish out the game at some point. 
um, scare them a little bit by reloading, and then pass the turn. And then this is a great hand to try to end the game on. Yeah, so this hand lines up. So you got the Bolton shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you're trying to, you need to find one more arrow. <clears throat> All right. So Bonds, how can he trigger? Is it even possible for him to trigger Bonds here? And do I care? Those are the things I have to ask myself right now. So double Justinic doesn't do it. Siren's call does do it, but we've seen all of them. I think he's pitched one. He pitched one turn zero. He pitched one turn zero. I think he's pitched the other one and he's played one. Siren's call is a blowout here, which is why I'm hesitant. Um... Because he can go Siren's Call, draw a blue, and then do like a hiss play. Um, he can also... Oh, he's just going to show that to me now. Cool. Give me a go again. Thank you for the information so he has a blue in his hand um how do these cards read it's only if uh his is if there's, play a, that? if there's a blue in your hmm. what was that Pitch stone did he play that path while traveled yeah he did i don't think i get to care Hmm. Reoccurring nightmare. Okay. Oh, what was the? Oh, he played bonds. Yeah. I'm gonna get it's rid it. of the lace with inertia. On the off chance that he can trigger bonds here, I need to keep both arrows. I mean, how would he get two more attack reactions? He has tunic, so he could play hiss or venomous bite. Hmm. Art of Desire Mind. Um, there's no shot that sets a blue, so we're just gonna let it hit. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Guaranteed hits a blue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a yellow. All right, cool. I didn't want to draw that card anyways. <laughs> um, all right, so. This is where we do get to like really take control of the game here. This has to flip up an arrow, right? Turn up and face down. Okay, cool. Great. Good to know. Um, I'm just going to scout. Scout the perif. Take a peek. Taking a <laughs> scout peek. Scout the perif. <laughs> Myself. Read the glide path. Love to see it. And load the bolty boy. We're gonna take a peek. Come on, find an arrow. End the game. Hey, that's a pretty good one. Oh, we got it. We got it. That is game point match. Yes, put a name counter on it. Launch it. Just a casual 15 dominate. 15 a dominators what you do about it okay he's uh, uh he's he's trying to do something about it he's trying right. so we're done with sigils too so this would be a case like two where let's say he's got two more life total points or maybe one let's just say he's got If I put it on Tunic, he can just give me Hat and keep Tunic for the rest of the game. But here he has to give yeah, me his Tunic true, resource yeah. and Tunic, which is worth a ton. 
is he so he's not technically dead. He can pay for both of these <laughs> no, blood rods. Not dead. <laughs> if he's got two blues. Or like again, like if if I put it on tunic here and he has like a uh codex in hand, he could tunic codex pay for it and still be alive. Oh, dude. That, oh. oh, I thought that was the case too. That was oh, almost sick. One on the blood right. rods. So, yeah. Yeah. So, two and one, technically. Um, the Kano player did pass one out. And two. But, you know, we got there. Yeah. We got not there. bad. So, yeah, this deck looks fun. Yeah. No. Deck. Yeah, the deck is fun. There's there's definitely a lot of changes I want to make to the deck um, to make it a little smoother for how I like to play Azalea. And I think just like increase the power level because yeah. it's what you need to do in the deck as well in this consistency. And we saw it a couple times too when like I had the Ravenous Rebel in my hand multiple times and I just needed an arrow. And like... If there's an arrow in my yeah. hand, it makes my turn a lot cleaner. So, like, that being, like, an endless arrow, which, very cheap card, very easy that slot in. Searing shot, even. Mm -hmm. Another card that anyone will literally give you for free. So, um, I might I might tinker around and try to work on, like, a little bit of, like, an upgrade to the armory deck. Maybe we can do it as, like, a, mm -hmm. like a three-pack with all three of the armory decks. Um but yeah. yeah, yeah, that could be cool. Um, any other thoughts, Ben? No, like I said, it looks a lot of looks like a lot of fun. Azalea, even though I've never played her, um, she does have that. The mechanics, I think, is maybe one of the best in the game, right? So if you're looking for um, some fun mechanics, and Ranger is your like is your jam, either you know in other types of games, Diablo, etc. Uh, definitely start with Azalea because she's a lot of fun mechanically. And this armory deck is uh, worth picking up for sure. All right. Yeah. I think it, that's going to do it, Nate. Feels, um, it feels powerful. And cool. Yeah. Yep. For sure. All right, everybody. Like, subscribe, do the do. Peace. Peace.